Okay, I'm outside of Carolina Ave. I'm not too far down Boulevard Park or the community. So, sort of towards the front, lots of similar homes. Um, good news about this property is the roof looks like it's in good shape. Well, there's good and there's bad. The good is there's lots of square footage. The house doesn't look like it needs that much work. And there's mold in the basement, which I think is good because I feel like any uh, regular owner occupant home buyer is going to be freaked out by it. But as you can see, you have a nice driveway, like the basketball hoop fenced yard already. There's this addition on the back. I just wanted to point out on the addition on the back, I do see cracks here in the foundation. I, w I wish the yard was a little bit bigger, but it's pretty nice. There's electric over there straight behind, so maybe there used to be a pool here. But, um, yeah, the house isn't that bad. It's a pretty decent shape. So, actually I'm just going to pan over this way because I haven't checked this side of the house. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks pretty good. So you can see that's the size of the yard, but I like the fact that it's fenced. And there's that addition. I checked out the term next stakes and there's no signs of wood destroying insects. There's a little crack in here. So I think you need a new storm door. I'm going to just hop through it. But like I said, there is hardwood all throughout this main level. The paneling is outdated. I guess you would try and put drywall here. Plus there's a decent amount of this fake brick that needs to come off. It's in another room, you'll see. It does smell mildewy though. Um, so this is what's unique. We have our standard split level layout. Where here's the kitchen. But it's a bigger kitchen because of this addition. So you have the porch out here to the left. And what I think is actually a bonus is, um, I'm just showing off the porch. There's this additional area here. And at first when I walked through, I was confused because you don't usually see something like this here in a split level. But this is like its own little master suite. So this I would I would picture as you make it into a master suite or a guest bedroom. So you have this walk-in closet. You have the space for the bathroom, even though it's a half bath right now. And you have this big room here. The windows were all recently replaced. They all look in, like they're in great shape. And there's the other walk-in closet. So there's a lot that can be done with this room. The only thing that I see, well, there are vents. But this room is significantly colder than... Uh, the rest of the, excuse me, the rest of the house. So you have this addition here. And then we go into the standard split level. So we have a little closet to the left. We need a new bathroom here. And I see why, oh, so you have the two bedrooms over here, and they've actually knocked out the wall. So, right now you just have giant bedrooms, but you can see the hardwood underneath, which has been patched right around where the uh, closet is, but you can't beat hardwood all throughout the main level. And then here's the master. It doesn't have its own bathroom, that's the one negative in the smaller closet, but so you have three bedrooms over here, and then you'll have a master area behind the kitchen. And as we go into the basement, we have a finished family room area. It's all drywalled now. Hopefully the drywall is okay over here. Like I said, back in the utility room, it is pretty damp and moldy. You can see the French drain. And then this is just a bonus room back here. I almost feel like, because you have the bonus room in the other area, well, do you leave it or do you make this a nice big open area? Then, so come this way. See the plumbing's all been updated. We have another closet 
room back here. It's a pretty big room though. And um, here's the unfinished area where the moisture is coming in. Now this you're going to have to spend money on. Um, I am actually looking at it closer now and I realize this piece of plywood is here for a reason and I think there might be a slight bow going this way, going inwards. And that is why we're seeing the mold here. So I think the house does need foundation work. You see some of the cinder blocks are messed up. They're not flush at all. So I think this is why you're going to be able to get the house at a decent deal if you want to do this work. See if I can pull this off. Well, I don't know what's going on with this. Why is this here? Maybe it's not that bad. The foundation here is a question. And there's definitely moisture coming in. Maybe it's just a grading issue, but I think it's more of a foundation issue. Because now I'm looking at it and I see this. Never mind. It's a good thing I came back and looked at this closer. It doesn't look horrible, but it looks like the start of something not so great. The fact that the crack goes all the way across and it seems like a very subtle bow. So we have an updated house. Cosmetically, I don't think it needs that much, but the big cost is the foundation. Okay.